beautiful Golden Skate and I'm here with the European Champions in Paris 2024. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you very much. How are you feeling now a couple of days after your big success? Um, the first day I didn't realize what happened, but now I realized a little bit more. So I'm very, very tired. But at the same time, I'm so happy to be here and uh, for all of the things that we are doing in these days. And, yeah. yeah, it's, uh, it's just a great moment, you know, because uh, uh, we, we thought it was possible, you know, far away you can see there is a chance. But then when you really like realize that you, you've done it, like it's just amazing because uh, we worked so hard for this moment and we we arrived in this place it, we was in shape we was like ready and everything was set it's mean like we we had a good plan and our plan worked because our team worked with us together so it's like uh, not only for the medal but for the whole season like all situation uh, for every day base uh, it's just uh, a very big satisfaction um, one of your competitors said it's mentally, uh, mental, the, what decides in the end who will win. So you were obviously mentally the strongest. Um, what do you think make, made you so mentally strong this week? Um, I think that um, I did a lot of work with my mental coach during all of this year. So it was like... Uh, when you work on the programs, um, on the technical part, it's also important to work uh, on the mental part. Yeah. And uh, I did uh, like huge work on this part. So. Yeah, yeah you could tell like uh, Lucrezia, she was like sharp. I I could tell, and even like this sharpness came in, coming from her, give me like the strength, you know. Plus, for me, in, in a special case, uh, the thing that gives me more the security, it's uh, that I, I have been training a lot. Like, at home, it's like everyday base. Like, we do clean programs. And doing clean programs uh, at home, like, we do, like, the six minutes warm up, going out and program, even at home. We share the ice with other uh, couple of high level. And uh, everything, like, all this kind of package, give me the strength so I, I I was like thinking of many things but only one thing make make the difference like I'm ready for this I can do it like I, I'm sure I can yeah so you yeah. the belief uh, yeah. the total belief in yeah. yourself Lucrezia you just mentioned a men mental coach like what is maybe one very important advice you got from the mental coach um, I did a lot of like uh, exercise for concentrations and uh, also like for uh, stay focused just on my breath and my body uh, like when you have to feel all of your part of the body and I think that this helps me a lot in the competition because it's always yeah you train all day but at the competition it's always different your your feeling of your body um, what meaningful reactions did you get already? I think a lot of people congratulated you, but maybe what was a special reaction what you got after your... No, I said turn? like, um, yeah. you know, when you put a medal on, on, yeah. on your neck, everybody congr congratulates to you. Mm -hmm. And then normally they're like, oh, very happy for you and congratulations for you winning. Mm -hmm. But you know, I, I, I know the difference between uh, congratulations and congratulations. Mm -hmm. And what make me happy the most it's like people that write me, it was, first of all, so many people. And all people just write from the heart. And that's different. It's not only like congratulations. You, you can feel that you give some emotions to the people. And it's mean, it's not for the medal, it's for yourself. It's for the way you, you approach this, this world and how you transfer your happiness and sadness sometimes to the other people that help you to live the situation together. So it's like, that's that's the most beautiful thing I could uh, have received, yeah. the, the, the heart from the people. 
Uh, let's take a few steps back. Uh, two years ago, when you had the last season with your previous partner, I remember you said, I feel I'm not yet done. I feel I have more in myself. I want to give more to the sport. Could you have imagined back then to be European champion two years later? No, it's, <laughs> it's actually very hard to, to, to imagine. It, it, uh, it was just an idea, a feeling, you know? As Lucrezia yeah. said, you need to feel it inside. I knew it like I had energy, I had passion, I, I had like uh, respect for this sport and for my competitors. So uh, this this situation it was impossible to to see, just to feel, and uh, that's that's what actually happened. I felt it, and I, I keep moving forward. And then the, I, I believe destiny, I, not destiny. I don't know. My destiny was crossing with uh, Lucrezia's destiny and we are here. So there is a reason. I don't know why, but uh, that we make this big step, it, it's like it should happen. Yeah, um, I saw um, a, f a cute photo of uh, you two like very long time ago when you were a kid and Matteo was already grown up. So you know already you two uh, you two know already each other for quite a while. So maybe you can uh, take us back like how you met, how you first remember Lucrezia, and how did the destiny come together so that you are now a team? I think that uh, when we did the photos, uh, when I was young, Matteo for me was like, a, I don't know, um, I was a little fun, but I don't remember exactly the day yeah, when we me. met. For me it was the same because I don't know how many years ago it was, but um, 12, I don't know, 11 years ago. Yeah. So for me, it was, uh, I think, I believe it was a show in Torino yes. that she came to see. And uh, I have my first memory of uh, Lucrezia uh, when she was a single skater. She went for maybe for the first Junior Grand Prix. I saw her, she was like so tiny and like so skinny, <laughs> but she, she was yeah. already like, good you you could see from the eye you could see like uh, she was uh, really into it and uh, i remember me nicole luca la Note, like old skater uh, we were like oh look at this uh, little lady <laughs> <laughs> she's so fast and here she is she is uh, so yeah how did you team up how i think one and a half years ago in the summer you decided to try together you came from single skating uh, yeah how did you decide on that Uh, because uh, the last year as a single figure skater uh, for me was so difficult because I had a lot of health problems mm -hmm. and um, so I thought that um, I needed a change and uh, I decided to do pair skating because um, I tried when I was younger like just for three months, but then I had an accident. And, uh, but I always prefer pairs than single skating uh, because you can like share all of your emotion with uh, another person. So for me, that's cool. Okay. I, I believe that it's never easy to, to find a partner. Like, uh, it's one of the most difficult uh, things to do. And uh, like I said before, it, it had to happen because uh, you cannot search it uh, too much. Uh, she had some problem with single skating, with health. I finished my career with Nicole. I moved to Bergamo because of my life, because of uh, uh, my family. She was uh, confused of what the future was. Uh, you know, all this situation, it just came across together. And uh, I'm, I'm lucky to, to, to cross my, my path with uh, Lucretias because uh, at the end, uh, she was just good for me, like just great for me. For the character, we are different, completely different. But uh, she understand my point of view And I understand her point of view. We have 15 years difference, 15 years. My brother is six years younger than me. And sometimes it's difficult to understand what he say. <laughs> Not because of the way he talk, because the way he think. So imagine like 15 years. 
it's a lot. But in the same time, we have symptoms. You can see on the eyes, we are getting closer and we understand w w what's going on. We respect each other, even if we see different the, the, the situation of the life. And then uh, just everything was so confused in the beginning. But uh, when things have to happen, have to happen. So our path is just got, got cleaner and cleaner. Last year was a little bit mess because it was the beginning. But uh, once we find our way, once we find like our uh, way to follow, it just went uh, one after the other one. Yeah. What uh, do you think makes Lucrezia such a good pair skater? Because it's amazing after one and a half years of pair skating, you're already a European champion. Uh, I actually uh, don't know the, the, the thing that make her like so good, but I can tell, first of all, she like to try. First of all, that not, uh, I've been coaching a little bit also, and it's difficult to, to push like skater to try some, some new thing. So first she is like interest of, on new things. Second, she feel her body. That's the most important thing. And even when we start to do elements together, even if I knew when we was doing something that uh, something was wrong, I was always asking her, what's wrong? Just to, to elevate this uh, sense of uh, feeling. And now she knows exactly, like when we do a lift, uh, she, she can tell me even if I'm doing something wrong, because she feel it. And when you feel your body, when you feel the situation, everything is smoother. Like she said before, when you are in competition, you have a lot of thinking, you have a lot of thought. And just close your eyes, just take a breath, feel your body, and you are, you are at home. So you can do any, anything in any situation. Uh, what you, Lucrezia, found maybe the most difficult when you came to the new discipline? <laughs> it was challenging. Mm, especially, uh, oh, the elements, the most difficult elements for me, I think, that are the spiral. The mm -hmm. spiral. The yeah. spiral, yeah. Yeah. And um, I think that in pairs, uh, it's difficult to, um, when you start to do the, pro the full programs, you have a, a lot of different elements. So you have to change um, your, like, Mm. Rhythm of elements. Yes. You have explosive uh, element. Yes, but that's at the same time it's one of the things that I like of pair skating because when you do single skating you have just two jumps and do the spins, but in pairs you have a lot of different elements, so this is more like funny. <laughs> yeah. Good. So now you became European champions. You also broke the 130 points in the free skate. I think that was uh, your goal. The other goal was 70 in the short. That's still to come, I guess. So is that your next goal or what are your next steps now after this championship? No, we just uh, yeah. sit together and we yeah. talk about it. Uh, we have nothing to change so much. We yeah. just want to add a double, double axel. So mm -hmm. on the combo, we want to do mm -hmm. toe loop axel, axel. Mm -hmm just to, uh, to increase a little bit the technical point of view. Mm -hmm. And uh, we will keep working on choreography, on skating skill. We, we basically keep doing the same plan we just did, but more specific, putting attention like in different element, different point of view. And the big change it will be in the next season. But for this World Championship, uh, I think we will, uh, we will look at this 70 point on the short program and uh, we will look at to score at least 130. I will say 130 because this time we score 132. If 132 will come, even 133 or four, it's, it's okay for me. <laughs> I will take you it. You will take it for sure. Yeah. By the way, our goal, it was the 200 and it will be the 200 because once yeah. we will score this pointing, the other teams need to do the same. So I'm not doing the competition on the others. I'm doing the competition on myself, on ourselves. We will score the 200, that's our goal. And then if the other score 201, just stand up, shake the hands, congratulations. If they score 199, probably they have to stand up, shake the hands and congratulations. That's sport. <laughs> 
definitely. So you also announced on our set a couple of times that you are or will be working on the quads. Can you evaluate a bit more about that? So we have uh, two plans and we will follow the both plans. Quad twist and quad south throw. Approaching the quads, it's very hard because uh, I, I've done quad twist mm -hmm. in the roller. I never done quad throws. So with our team, our coach especially, we will try to find the right plan to try the quad. And then I don't know if we will be able to execute or to put in the program for next season, but we will have to try at least. And first of all, I want to make sure that no injury will come. So we have to prepare ourselves, our body, to do something that we never done before. To be able to handle any situation in difficult, difficult moments, you know? Because uh, you need to be focused. When you try some kind of element, you need to be fo focused. But this will make the difference. Because you can participate or you can participate. It's two different ways. <laughs> we will participate. Who want to understand, understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I heard you also said that there's, of course, different ways to approach the quad. And uh, there is uh, some ways that are less risky for injuries, which would be like fast rotation. Is that the plan that you would like to follow? Simply, yeah. How are we talk? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I, I had chance to see like uh, some pair skater uh, approaching the quads. I was uh, training in Russia. I saw Kavaguti Smirnov doing the two quads throw. I saw all my friends from North Europe trying the quad. I saw Chinese skating with them uh, in Beijing. And uh, what I like the most is uh, the way you're doing the quads in a safe way. I don't need to go like so fast or make like huge throw. I need to make it. So I believe we will work on this way, like uh, going in the smart direction, not going just just to show you are like Hulk or like Superman. I, I, I don't want just to take Lucrezia and just <laughs> throw it like on the air. We, we will find like a smart way. Uh, we're looking forward. Maybe we will see it uh, in the future, or hopefully. So I'll end this interview with two, maybe like little more light questions. Um, so you uh, said uh, that you learn a lot from each other, age difference. Um, what was maybe one thing you learn or one thing you appreciate most about your partner? Um, like I said uh, at the press conference last day, uh, Matteo, especially um, in life, and during the training he's always super calm and um, I learn a lot from this uh, it helps me especially uh, for the competition because he always said me when you do the program just do one element one by one so this helps me a lot to um, when I do programs like for Approach. Yeah. yeah, it's like um, maybe she learned uh, a little bit the experience from me and I remember how it was uh, in the beginning. So what I like the most of Lucrezia is uh, her lightness, lightness in a good way, you know, she really enjoys, she's like uh, shy, she's like, uh, like full of energy and that's make my life even like Remember when I was actually like this age, just every, every day is just amazing. Because uh, when you do every, every day the same thing, it get a little bit bored prob probably, like uh, all people in life. So if you can keep this fire going and make it even big fire, you, you just take energy on yourself. And that's Lucrezia gave it to me. If you see me like full of energy, it's because of this. She just remind me of what's like happiness is. Sometimes happiness, not general, but of figure skating, of like being at competition, of flying, of traveling, of trying some new things. And that's actually very, very, very good thing she teach me 
and she remind of myself back. That sounds like really a good combination. So as a last question, what is the first thing you want to do when you come back home to Italy? Uh, I need to sleep like, <laughs> for two days in a row. <laughs> okay. No. Um, yeah. Just celebrate with my family and my close friends. We have uh, two days of off. Yeah. 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 It's like uh, I like Lucrezia just said. Like it will be nice to spend some time, like yeah. at and home. do some shopping. Ah, <laughs> Treat yourself. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, it's like yeah. for me it will really be like to be at home with uh, my family. Yeah. It's like just I have no plan. I don't wanna do plan. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna do. I just uh, wanna be, be with my family. Have fun, enjoy that moment, and we're looking forward to see you soon you. again. And good luck for everything. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.